Everybody, welcome back to Apex Craft. This is Red Lore, and it is Friday, and hopefully we're gonna have some fun on Friday. Uh, let's see things I wanted to do real quick. Uh, we're going to build a tender to go with the BR Zero that I built last episode. Um, I have pieces, and they go in places. I did update Traincraft. I don't remember if I told you guys that or not. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, BR01's tender, there we go. And I'm gonna need my spike, which I think is over here. Stake, whatever. Um, and let's see, something else I wanted to do real quick. Let's see if I have any camo paste. I do. Um, secret player plate. Um, pressure plate. There we go. I also want an iron door. I think that'll be good for now. We're gonna head out and visit Bixie's place. Um, instead of um, using the Mistcraft Nexus Age, I thought we might have some fun. Get our train stuffs all put together. Um, I would really like that to be a brick. Hmm. All right, well, for now, that will be fine. And one of these to go back in the hole. There we go. All right, so I need one here as well. Let's go make another one. Let's see, things that have happened this week that have been interesting in my world. Not a whole lot. Work. That's about it. And pressure plate. We can put these guys back. Head back up here. I'll show off the train station to you guys real quick. As the sun goes down, it would appear. Let's, um, it's just me on the server. Let's make it daytime. And I'll show you the train station. Okay. And I'm also going to get my portable hull out just because, quite simply, it's easier to move around with it than without it. Actually, so much easier. There we go. So I put a hedge on the back. Um, it, it, I can't get in the door here. It seems to be something tied with the miscraft boots of the Traveler, as I can get in without them on. Uh, that's okay. We can work around that. So the wand of equal exchange did not work on the roof, as I thought it might. So that was a shame. And I've put a couple of chests in here. Oh, I've got to do a little jumpy hoppy thing to get in. And my BR0, which I will drop on right there. And the tender behind it, like so. And I think I right click and right click. No, shift right click, shift right click. 
Oh goodness. Let's see if we can find out here real quick. And these recipes have paper stacks in them, but they use steel. I don't know what's going on. There's some still some item mismatches, obviously. Uh, do, 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 do. I noticed it looks like there's some armor as well. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. The helmet cures poisons and helps breathe underwater. It gives night vision. Um, chest region half a heart every five seconds. The pants protect you from fire damage. Boots absorb fall damage. So we might make some of these pants. Um, let's see here. Um, okay. Pulling, crafting steel, building, stock cars. Right click both carts with a stake in your hand and it will say attach mode on. Alright, let's give that another try. Um, I want you to go that way. Alright, this guy is clearly heading the wrong direction, so if we put him down here and give him a bump... Does it attach? No. Okay. Attaching mode. No. I'll figure it out here eventually. There we go. Okay. And I'll put the stake in this chest in here. And we'll just take a spin real quick and look at the locomotive. It's beautiful. And I'll right click in it to get in it. And I can put stuff in the tender. That's awesome. And it fuels the train by putting stuff in the tender, so... The only caveat here is that, um... on the tinder. There we go. So, I'm going to put water in this guy. So now the tinder is full of water. And I'll put some coal in there, and I'll take a stack of coal here, and put him in this guy as well, like so. Actually, I don't think that matters. I think it will just automatically use the coal out. I don't know anything about it, so... Um, and let's sort my inventory real quick while I'm here. Put this guy back. And put some of this stuff away. I would like to have my sword out. Put the portable hole away and the wireless. Okay. I think we're all set to go. Give us a push off. Absolutely no visibility whatsoever. Uh, we should make the left hand turn here. Awesome. And then up the hill. Let's see how fast we can go before we derail, huh? Seems to be quite a bit faster than, uh, <clears throat> than the one we were using before. Not sure if I could make it go any faster than that or not. 
All right, we're coming up to a turn here. Let's see what happens. Die a spectacular death when we make the corner. No, okay. So I know there are some cases where the train will actually derail. One cannot, let's see, it says a maximum, oh, kilometers per hour, okay. Still seems kind of a leisurely pace, but there you have it. Bixie said that he was going to set up a train station on his end as well. Uh, I don't know if he's gotten to it or not. We'll find out. Oh, speaking of Bixie, <clears throat> I'll have to go jump on Mumble and see if he's hanging out, perhaps. There's Mead's place off to the east. There's a ruins city there. We've got a nice long tunnel coming up. Before we make a turn back to the east, everything seems to be going by much more quickly. Here's our turn. And we'll head up the slope here. Excellent. And we're nearing Bixie's place. I want to make sure that since I've not seen how and where the track ends that I kind of take it slow and easy. I wish there were some way that I could lean out um, and see where I'm actually going. So I'll just hop out here. Uh-huh. And Just set the brake. Oh, and hop, jump back out. All right. So let me get Mumble fired up here. Hang tight, real quick. Taking its time launching. I see. There we go. All right. So there's my locomotive. We'll leave it there. Here's Bixie's Mansion with the uh, the classic 8-bit Nintendo controller for a window. Excellent. 64 steam engines, Bixie says he has. Looks like he might be thinking about, now that we've added open peripherals to the mix, that he's... Uh, He's thinking about increasing that. All right, it seems like maybe some of the crashing is back. Yay. What do we got going on in here? Nothing. All right. So Bixie has uh, created an engine control large touchscreen monitor to go along with, uh, with his engines. Excellent. And that will turn off segments of engines at a time. Excellent. Let's see what else Vixie's up to. 
Well, he's got a thermostatic harness as well going on. Excellent. This is a secret, secret workshop down here. Clear glass and cows and pigs. Excellent. Harvesters. He's got a little bit of everything going on down here. Ender tanks on everything. I do like the idea of ender tanks instead of using um, liquid transport or uh, liquid tesseracts. Got his ME system hooked up to all the stuffs. Where is the control for his for his stairs? Hmm. Who knows? Could this be it? Could that be it? With the secret rooms mod, there's no telling where it is. Look at the crystal clusters he's got down here as well. Excellent. Yeah, I do need to make a... Uh, I do need to make a wand of the Thaumaturge, or the Thaumic Tinker's wand. Excellent. Creating fuel, no doubt. Some stills for his... Oh my goodness, the boilers. A little bit of workshop. Stuffs and things. Looks like some bibliocraft stuff has all kind of gotten wacky. Alright. Excellent. It's a patio. Awesome. Oh, Bixie. I saw it. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Your things are showing. It's a lot of lasers. And we've not you've got all you've got upstairs is a bed. Oh man. Bixie is not on mumble with me. I don't know where he is. He just jumped in and then split, I guess. I don't know. Oh goodness. Excellent. All kinds of nice space up here on the roof. Some lighting updates that aren't happening. Excellent. This is awesome. Question now is how to get down from here. <laughs> One can't, I suppose. Is there some water that I can jump into? Don't see any. <clears throat> well, now that I'm up here, I don't know how to get down. Ah. See if he responds to me in chat. He's got the harness that he can fly down with. I've got no such thing. All right, what we'll do is I'm going to break Bixie's stuff. There we go. Excellent. So he's got all of his things inside. Silverwood tree. Is this a bat? What is that? On fire there. A fire bat that is stuck in the sky. Okay. Excellent. Angry zombies. Bring it. You too, Creeper. All right. So I think we'll uh, we'll head back. We've now that we've spent some time at Bixie's place, taking a poke around.
Excellent. So there were a couple of other things that I noticed uh, while I was putting in the uh, the rail out here uh, was some beehives that I think I might want to pick over um, on my way back. All right, and there is of course no way to turn the locomotive around, so turn the brake off. Just tell it to go backwards. So we'll be back with it. Um, actually, no, I'll make you guys suffer through the train ride back. should be going at a fast enough clip that anything that gets on the track should die when it gets hit. Whoa! <laughs> I can almost see more going backwards than I could going frontwards. Where values of frontwards are the front of the train. Notice that I missed cutting a tree down there that the tunnel bore bored through the center of. I have to go back and fix that. The, the problem is there's just not a whole lot that you can do to control things outside the train. If you wanted to hit a switch to change a switch track or something, it would be kind of difficult. We'll have to see if I can find a, uh, a train that is faster. I think the only thing I'm going to find that's faster than this uh, are going to be some diesel-powered locomotives. So we'll have to take a look. We'll maybe build one of those next week. But other than that, we can always use Mistcraft. It should be pretty quick back and forth. This is Joel's place. I've noticed that he's been on the server um, some recently doing some more building. Need to come and harness some of these oil spouts. There's another great wood tree over here that I probably need to come dig underneath of. Matter of fact, you know what, let's do that while I'm here. <clears throat> let's get over there to it. And I should be able to run and catch up to it. All right. Well, it would appear that somebody has probably already been at this one. It would seem so. And I don't have enough dirt block to put back there. As my train disappears off without me. There we go. All right, and once we get back to my place, I'll sh we'll do a couple other things here with the with train craft and rail craft. But let's get there first. Now, one of the things I oh, so right, we're coming back into. Uh, into my house. So what what should happen here, right? We're going straight over over the, the switch track there. And turn the brake on. There we go. Pop out. Alright, um let's see. I want to put some of this stuff um, back into my inventories. I want 
this so that I can get some actually let's go actually let's go into the house and get a couple things while we're in there all right I want to build a switch a switch lever as a matter of fact and I might even want to make two of these I'm also going to want some buffer tracks, some switch tracks, and some high-speed tracks. All right, let's head back up. Uh, portable hole. Here we go. All right, so what I wanted to do here... Uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? I want to do... Uh, let's see... One, two, three, four, five? Alright. Don't know if I want to do it there or here. Hmm... Let's do it here. How many... How many tracks blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will give it ten. Okay. So, what I want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here. I want to put in this piece of switch track and my switch mm, no that's not what I want to do is it I want this to go nope there we go I want the default for it to be to go that way. And I can switch this off. Hop in here. Take off my brake. And I should be able to back this guy up into that terminus. this longer. By four more blocks, like so. All right, I get my stake that I put here somewhere. Give this guy a push. A bigger push? Maybe not. Playing with trains. Again, break. Oh, 
break. Okay. Now, can I push this guy again? I can't. I can get my bump. Or maybe not. Stake. Right click. Right click. There we go. All attached. And what I want to do is I want some way to visually... Oh, Bob Saget. There we go. Oh, I want some way to visually represent... Alright, let's get some... Fence. Another brick fence. That'll work. And... Let's see. This guy is one, two, three, four, five. So... Two, three, four, five. Like so. hop in here and turn my brake off, pull forward, I'll come right up next to the station, excellent, and if I back up, <clears throat> I'm concerned about backing up so that the end of the cab is just past the nether brick, like so. I can hop out and everything is well parked. Check it out. And there you have it. Okay, there's a parking job with the train. Now what I can do is I could add another track here, for instance. Uh, and this one I'll put in going, nope. 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 <laughs> put it in going this way. Huh. What if I add a couple pieces of track here and then try dropping it in? That's not the direction I wanted to go. I want it to go that way. And I can take my other switch. I want it. No, I think I, I do want it to go. I want it to go that direction. So I can put another switch in here, and I can switch it that way. Then what will happen is another buffer and a couple more pieces of nether fence. What I can do is, where's my box of stuff? I can get my Chirpanov and um, I've put everything into the BR Zero's tender. There we go. So I'm going to leave it with a stack of each. All right.
back us back into position. All right. And we'll go park this guy. And do do. Got to wait for him to warm up. And want to change the tracks. And here we go. I can back this guy right up into here, just like so. Ta-da! And set these guys back to... That's where we want it. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the shenanigans today. And it looks like Bixie and I might be getting into shenanigans later on this afternoon, which means that that will be, uh, that'll be what we kick off uh, next week's episodes with. We'll find out. Uh, until then, you guys, make sure to leave me some comments. Uh, make sure to give me some thumbs ups. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see me do before we jump into Twilight Forest and start looking for an uncrafting table. And until next time, you guys, stay out of trouble and have fun.